Why, hello, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world, and welcome back to another Planet Soup video. My name is Leaf, and thank you guys so much for joining me here again today. So, today we have a bit of a different, different video for you guys. So, I originally kind of wanted to do a trailer for this, but, you know, it just wasn't in the cards. I'm not really that good with editing, so we're just gonna do a little zoo walk around today. And the thing that we have a zoo based on today is the whole Flamingo pack. So, recently me, Jen, and Nick have teamed up to kind of make this whole mini expansion pack. And it includes 11 new scenery items as well as 5 new animals. And those animals being Flamingos. Now already, we already had the Greater Flamingo in game. It was, it's an okay choice. It's definitely not my favorite. But, you know, we have a lot of stuff in here to make up for that. So, right off the bat, we're going to focus on what we see right here. By the way, Nick did all the cover art for all the, um, all, like, the unofficial DLCs. Here's, like, the full picture, actually. Instead of it being DLC, it's mod pack. But, um, yeah, so he did all these signs, which look absolutely beautiful. These match, like, that classic Planet Zoo theme. I just, they came out so well. If I could just exit out of that so we could see it a little bit better, get the light on. He did such an amazing job matching up the art style. And he did he did all the scenery props in this pack, so we're just gonna like go through all the, <laughs> go through them all. Uh, here's a little bit of a silhouette one. These match kind of like the other Planet Zoo theme. It I think they turned out really good. And I have no idea why we didn't get them in the base game, but hey, they look fantastic. And of course, this is like my favorite edition right here. We have the little lawn flamingos, and we have them in two different poses. We have one that's kind of hunched over, and we have another one that's kind of standing nice and tall. So it's it's such a nice, tacky little, little edition. But um, so yeah, here we are making our way over to the flamingos of Africa. And here we actually do have the Lesser Flamingos, which Nick did these signs, but Jen did the skinning on them. And we also have a Greater Flamingo sign, just to like, you know, bring in a new art style into the game. They look absolutely killer. So let's just check out our little feathery friends. And oh my god, guys, they look beautiful. So of course, I just wanted to throw in the normal graders in here. I mean, they're already such, like, they're beautiful creatures, but you know... They're white, you know? They're not interesting, you know? But Jen did an amazing job with the lessers. They're really tiny. And look at this feathering job on them, too. I mean, they're absolutely beautiful. Their eyes are, like, bright yellow with red. Oh, get, don't run away from me. But yeah, they're gorgeous creatures. Unfortunately, their babies are kind of big. They're actually bigger than the adults, but, um... Soon enough, hopefully, we can start to find a way to fix that. Yeah, I'm not really too confident in it right now, but I'm sure there's ways around it. I think, uh, I think Bongo Hardwood actually gave me a little bit... Uh, actually, was it Bongo or Trump? I honestly forget, but they gave me a little hint as to how we could fix that, so maybe we can update it later in the future. But yeah, I just really do hope you guys enjoy all these guys. The lessers are stunning, but they are not even close to being my favorite. We're going to head right over there right now. And yeah, I just love how good of a job that Nick did. Oops. On these signs, they look fantastic. I have guests on because, you know, why not? But here's my favorite flamingo right over here. This is the American Flamingo, also known as the Caribbean Flamingo. It's it's your classic bright pink flamingo. And here they are right here. All coated and skinned by me. I had them originally as a replacement mod back in the day. And I think it was like one of my third, maybe my fourth one. But I just love how they look. They are beautiful creatures. I just love their plumage. They're like, they're apparently really common in like European zoos. Which I think is so funny because I've never seen one in an American zoo. But yeah, I just love them and I really hope you guys do too. I mean, they're beautiful creatures. But alas, we still have three more that we need to get to. So let's just skip our way right over there. And I still can't get over how good these look. <laughs> they are so stupid. I love them. But um, yeah, so we have three new ones over here. 
So this is a whole South American part. So we have the Chilean flamingo sign. We have the... I forget which one this is. Hold on. This one is the James. I know that right off the bat. So if that's a James, then this is the Andean flamingo. I, I just get so confused between the two, but I know the James has like... It has a little bit of red coloring near the eyes, so hopefully we can find it in this little travesty. So right off the bat, we have the Chileans. Oh my god, they're beautiful. Nick did them. They're really simple. They're just like a little bit pinker than the graders. But yeah, they still look absolutely amazing. We have these over in Roger Williams. And they just had a baby too. Oh my god, it's so wonderful. But um, yeah, I just love how these ones came out. But Chileans aside, let's check out what else we have. And let's see who these are right here. So these are the... Are these the James? I'm not really too sure. I forgot I could just check right here. Nope, these are the Andeans. So they have a little bit less, like, red coloring on their eyes. But they still have, like, a bright pink, like, neck and, like, chest area. Breasts, I guess, is what you would call them. But yeah, they're beautiful creatures. They're actually the second smallest flamingo, if I'm not mistaken. But, you know, they're just beautiful creatures. But, you know, my favorite South American one has got to be the James. So if we can find them. Is this him? Yeah, this is him. So these guys are the smallest flamingos in the world. And yeah, I just love how they look. They're so tiny. Look at them. I mean, let's get a Frank in here. Why not? So yeah, if we just put them right next to them. They're about the size. Well, I guess that Frank has a little bit of a pet now. But um, you can just see like how small they are. And I absolutely love them. Like, I can't wait to start making little aviaries for these guys. They're perfect little additions. But yeah, unfortunately the babies are like, you know, huge. But soon we'll find a fix. I promise, guys. But yeah, I really do hope you guys enjoyed the little showcase. I know it was a little bit of a quicker video, but I do hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless. Uh, if you are interested in getting this pack, it is available on the Nexus. And the full pack comes with all five flamingos, as well as all the wonderful scenery that you see here today. So if you guys are interested in that, please go check it out. Of course, you can download the animals individually, but I honestly recommend getting the full pack. It's like, it's so much better. Like, I just love having all of them there. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Be sure to go check out Nick's channel as well, because he was the one who did most of these, like, props. He did all the props. What the hell am I saying? And he also did the Chileans. And definitely do go hype Jen L on the modding Nexus, because, you know... She does such an amazing job with her animals. She needs a lot more recognition than she already gets right now. So yeah, of course, I wish you guys the most wonderful day. And I hope you guys enjoy the nice new flamingo pack. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. And of course, as always, have a great one.